down for you tonight. Of course, Brandon Rios told us, Robert, that he has plans to stay where he's at. He wants to lock it all down and unify, but you're in the gym with him, and you see how hard it is for him to maintain the weight. What do you think about his chances of achieving that goal? No, well, well I always said, you know, if, if we jump on that right away, you know, we... If we're able to get the, the winner of Antillon, uh, Soto next, you know, maybe even uh, Vasquez, who just fought last last Saturday. Those are the two champions there that we uh, that we would like to to, to go against. You know, uh, that's what we see in the IBF. Those are the those are the main belts. Brandon already has the third one. You know, those are the three main belts. So 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 we would love to to go against any of them. You know, but it has to be you know this year because because you know Brandon is a big boy and Brandon. You know, does have a hard time making 135, so so we are going to have to move up to one uh, to 140. You know, within the next two or three fights, so so it, it has to be soon. So hopefully, hopefully it happens. Both both champions are are promoted by uh, by top top rank and and Sanfer promotions. It's uh, those are fights that are that are pretty pretty simple to make. Uh, we just got to negotiate with with Bob Barum and our management team, which is Cameron Duncan, and and they're the champions management team also. But uh, those are very possible fights, and uh, hopefully sometime this year. And if not, we'll move up to 140 and go after the champions there. When he was in the ring with Acosta, it was exciting maybe from your standpoint for some of the wrong reasons. We saw Brandon taking a lot of shots. You know what? Uh, the fourth round was very hard. I know... I know Brandon got hurt with a body shot and, and, and then, you know, still, you know, continue getting hit. And uh, after that round, you know, when I talked to Brandon, I, you know, I told him, you know, hey, don't be surprised. You know, you're in against the world champion and he's a hell of a fighter and he's got tricks and he's going he's gonna to keep coming. So we trained for this fight, you know, we trained to win this fight and we knew it was going to be easy. So, so let's get, you know, let's keep going. And one thing, Brandon, Brandon never, never falls in, in the corner. You know, he never feels like I can't do it anymore. He, he. You know, he kept coming. He listens in the corner. Uh, you know, at, at at one point, I told him, you know, I want tell me, be honest with me, Brandon. How hard does he hit? And Brandon tells me, you know what, he hits fucking hard. But I hit harder. You know, with that with that answer, he gives me those those kind of answers, those kind of response. So you know, right there, I, you know, it tells me, you know, I have a a warrior in the ring that's gonna die inside the ring if he has to. So you know, I you know, I ain't worried about about him not not continuing or him quitting. I know that dude, they're gonna have to knock him out cold for him to lose a fight. And, you know, and, and Acosta was very dangerous the first few rounds, but after Brandon, you know, kept, you know, coming and, and took the, that fourth round, after that it was it, it just turned out, you know, the other way around. You know, Brandon turned that fight into his fight and, uh, and did what he had to do. There it is, Robert Garcia reliving the moments. Of course, it was a big moment for Nonito Donaire when he made short work of Fernando Montiel also, Robert. Oh, no, definitely. That was, that was a hell of a win. That was a big win. We expected a tough fight. We uh, we trained for for the best uh, in that division. You know, Montiel has been a great champion. He has done so much in boxing, and uh, and I've always admired his career since since he was his you know years ago when he was when he became champion years ago. Uh, he's a hell of a fighter, but you know, uh, Nonito is just out of this world. Nonito right now is is unstoppable. Right now, he's he's just uh, one of the fighters that you know we could. Uh, you know, maybe not give him that that name of pound for pound the best fighter in the world. The only reason is because you know the other fighters like like Pacquiao has won eight titles in eight different divisions. But if we're talking about skills, if we're talking about you know the 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 styles, I think I think, I think Nonito you know is as as good or even better than than the Pacquiao and the Martinez. You know, but you know we got we got to consider you know that they have won big fights and they've done a lot more in in in, in the sport. To, to deserve that that name, you know, to be pound for pound, and and like Nonito said, you know, he doesn't mind being next to, he be being second to to Pacquiao, you know, he's you know he's humble and he and he knows the truth about boxing, but uh, but I know that we we talk about skills, I I know that Nonito's as as good or even better than 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 Pacquiao, so you know all in his you know all, you know time will will tell, you know you know he's still growing, he's still young. So I think you know he still got some divisions to to go, and I think he'll be doing good against against the, any champion at, at the at the junior featherweight or the featherweight, and eventually even the junior lightweight because he, he's big. He's like five seven. So so you know there's a lot of uh, a lot of champions you know that are five 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 six, and and you know their champions are one thirty. So why why won't he need to go into that into that uh, division and and be strong and be and be powerful also? I think he's got everything to to do it. So. So it's just a matter of time, you know. I'm not talking about, you know, 
uh, next year. I'm talking about two, three years from now. He's young, so so that'll happen, and uh, eventually he he will take that spot of number one uh, pound for pound fighter in the world. Okay. Another interesting question about Nonito is this: You're of co- you of course are part of a team that works with Nonito. He's got Victor Conti, who's a cutting edge sports scientist. A lot of fighters now are using strength and conditioning guys, nutritionists. Do you notice anything extra out of your fighters that work with someone like Conte? Is it easier to train them, and do you see more stamina? You know what? With with Nonito, it has it it has been giving us really good results. You know. Nonito always trains hard for his fights, uh, and and he's always in great shape. You know, he he's he's uh, he's, he's disciplined to his sport. But uh, but you know, giving giving him this extra this extra person to help him, is n- n- maybe not only not only for what you know what the vitamins or the 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 exercises that he's doing from, but mentally means a lot for Nonito. Nonito believes in him. Nonito believes in Victor Conte and believes in everything that Victor Conte does when they're doing sprints. When, when they're you know doing their oxygen mask that they do and whatever you know the vitamins that he gives them, Nonito believes in it. So that that's the only thing that matters to me. If Nonito believes and if he's happy, then I'm happy with that too. And 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 it's giving us good results. And you know a lot a lot of fighters don't do that, but hey, but they believe in their hard training and they believe in in eating good and and resting good. And they they could also become world champions. So it depends on the fighter. Though you know if they believe in it. Then, then hey, you know I I respect it, and as long as they don't get, they don't get in, in, involved or in between my my work, I don't get involved with theirs. On the downtown, see my man gave him a pound on the way to Broadway to parlay for a while. I said, what up, Aki Rolling? It took him a minute to think it over, cause he just got done smoking. They know who Ace Lover is. I brought it up and bought a Dutch twist And later on, sparked another split Keep the weed smoke extremely low While police roll with robbers You know I got locked up before Playing strips, Broadway is one of my favorites Old Tama told me how it used to be in 86 Step on the scene in 93, so fresh and clean Wrapped in spray paint in the foundation of a celebrity Loking up eight. some people only know me by face Uptown, downtown, all over the place Considering I ain't got no